and welcome to the searchable drop-down lists video. In this video we'll explain a little bit more about how these new entity drop-down lists work and why we changed them. Now these new lists are now fully searchable and better able to handle very large lists of items. Why did we change them? Now the standard drop-down list that we previously had, had some limitations. So firstly, the limitation of that was that you could only type the first letter of the item that you were looking for and it would have then gone to the first item in the list that starts with that letter. And then the second limitation was that those standard drop-down lists were not very good at handling very large number of items. For example, clients that have a thousand projects on their own PPO instance. So now let's look at how these new searchable drop-down lists work. I'm going to click on this project list here at the top and you will then notice that I can start typing a word in here like project in this example and it will then start searching through all the text in the list items. Now whether the phrase is at the start or in the middle or at the end of the list item text. So in this example I've entered project and you'll see it search through the personal filters, shared filters and all the projects. If I had a longer list a scroll bar would have shown here on the right hand side which I could have also used to scroll down further and see the next hundred items in the list. But if I now want to select the project that I was looking for I can either navigate there with my mouse, click on it or click enter on my keyboard and it refreshes the page and then loads the issues for that selected project. If I now wanted to return back to the issue list with all the projects and all the issues you will notice if you click on the drop down list that I don't have that all option in there anymore as I previously had in the standard drop down list. So all you need to do to return back to the full list of all the projects simply click on this little clear icon or the cross here on the far right hand side. If I now wanted to search for a specific issue owner, I could simply click on the drop down list, search for the person's name or surname, and in this example it's Ravi Naidu, so I'm just going to click on his name. The page then refreshes and shows me all the issues that he is the issue owner for. If I wanted to clear the list, I could simply click on this clear icon or my little cross here on the far right hand side and the page then refreshes showing me again all the issues across all the projects. One last thing I want to show you is how these searchable drop down lists work when accessing my reports or dashboards. So I'm going to click on the dashboards menu item and look at something like my project manager dashboard. Now you will notice when I look at the report or a dashboard that uses a project list report parameter like in this example where I have a list of all the projects I could then select my specific project in this example the Northern Frontier Marketing project and then when I clear the list by clicking on the clear icon or the little cross you will notice that it then defaults back to the first project in the drop down list. So in summary the biggest advantage of these new improved drop down lists is that they are searchable and that they also save you a lot of time when you are looking for a specific item in your list. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you now understand the searchable drop down lists a bit better. Learn more about PPO today by visiting us at projectportfoliooffice.com. PPO, your award winning project management solution.